it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today I'm gonna show you how to make my sister Tanya's famous sweet potato casserole. You guys are gonna love the crunchy topping on this. She brings it to Thanksgiving every year and it is a family favorite. So let's get started. We'll start with four pounds of sweet potatoes or about four medium large potatoes. Peel all of them, then chop into one inch pieces. You want the pieces about the same thickness so they cook more evenly. Transfer all of your chopped potatoes to a large pot or a Dutch oven. Then continue cooking uncovered at a medium boil for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the potatoes are easily pierced with a fork. While the potatoes are cooking, you'll want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. With the help of a lid, you want to completely drain the water from your sweet potatoes. I've found that it's also safer to wear oven mitts to avoid the hot steam. The sweet potatoes are fully drained and it's time to mash them up. You can use a potato masher, but to get them really creamy, I love using an electric hand mixer. An electric mixer also makes this process so easy. Now we're gonna add something to the sweet potatoes that will make it seem like a souffle. In a medium bowl, whisk together three large eggs and half a cup of sugar. Then whisk in six tablespoons of melted butter and half a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Whisk that together until it's well combined, then pour that mixture into your hot sweet potatoes. This mixture adds amazing flavor and transforms the texture of this casserole. Whisk that into the sweet potatoes until it's well incorporated, then fold in one cup of dried cranberries. Spread the sweet potato mixture into a 9 by 13 clean casserole dish. You'll want to smooth out the top, and now it's time to make the crumb topping. In a small bowl, whisk together 2 thirds cup of brown sugar and 1 third cup of flour. Add 3 tablespoons of diced, cold, unsalted butter, and use your fingers to rub the mixture together until pea-sized crumbs form. Next, stir in 1 cup of coarsely chopped pecans and sprinkle that mixture evenly over the casserole dish. Bake uncovered in the center of a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 35 to 40 minutes. When it's done, the topping will be golden and toasted and the sweet potatoes will start puffing at the edges. <laughs> oh, this smells so good. That buttery, crunchy pecan topping is just irresistible. And you can see it's kind of puffed up around the edges. Remember there's eggs in this, so it kind of the texture is a little bit like a souffle, so imagine a sweet potato souffle casserole. Mm. <laughs> so we're gonna go right into this and do the taste test, because I cannot wait. It's a little bit hot when it first comes out of the oven, but you can just enjoy it as soon as it's a safe temperature, so you don't have to wait. Winning. <laughs> All right, here we go. A okay, big generous piece for me. All right, here we go. Oh yes, Thanksgiving came early. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh, hot. Mmm. Mmm. This is so. So satisfying. <laughs> it's like a whipped, creamy sweet potatoes. This is like a side dish and a dessert in one. <laughs> wow, and I love that buttery crisp topping and how it kind of caramelizes onto the sweet potatoes. Yum, yum, yum. And then if you didn't want to use craisins in here, you can also use raisins or just leave them out. And then the pecans toast in the oven so they've got this nutty crunch. Mm. <laughs> this is so good. Make this for your next potluck and it will disappear fast. And if you're lucky enough to have leftovers, this reheats really well. Hey, before you go, make sure you check out some of our favorite holiday recipes. You really can't go wrong with that juicy turkey right over there and then the creamiest mashed potatoes right down there. And click below to subscribe and when you do, make sure you click that little bell icon so you'll get notifications every time we post a new recipe. We'll see you in our next video.